take it, it's going to steal, kill, and destroy. And he knows that his time is short. Oh yeah, the devil knows his time is short. That's why he's walking to and fro in the earth, seeking who he may devour and deceive. No, you don't put your hands in No, stop it. Spirit. That's right. That's why you gotta worship the spirit in the church. Because you see, we're called as Christians, which I am a Christian, a believer in Christ. God calls us to be the light of the world. The world is laid in darkness, in gross darkness. And that's why Jesus Christ said, I called you to be a light amongst darkness. Go, he sends us out to go and preach the word. So we go in dark places to preach the word of God, to warn every sinner, every sinner to come, come get to know the Savior, come. Oh, blessed in my Father, if not his will for you to die in your sins, that God wants you to experience him, and he's so willing to reveal himself to you. He is. Let me tell you, Jesus Christ, he didn't come to bring peace on earth. He came to bring a sword. That's right. A sword, which, let me tell you, a man will be, you know, a, a wife will be against a husband, a daughter against a father. But you see, when truth comes, truth will bring separation. Truth. Because when you begin to understand the words of Jesus Christ, and what he has spoken. You're not going to want to be in that homosexual relationship anymore. You're not going to want to be in that adulterous relationship anymore. You're not going to want to come in agreement with your, with your father that's living in adultery. You're going to tell your father. You're going to tell your mother about what the Bible says. And how important it is to live godly. It didn't bring peace. He brought a sword to vision. And that's what truth does, ladies and gentlemen. Truth is going to cause you to be uncomfortable in your sins. That's right. Truth. 